Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another style challenge, but this time instead of six drawings, I'm going to be drawing myself in 18 different cartoon styles. And I didn't include the sketching process this time just to shorten the video a little bit. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from Madeline. And I drew myself as a character from the Madeline cartoon series rather than the Madeline book series. The two have a slightly different art style, and the Madeline book series has a more loose and flowy style, while the Madeline cartoon series is a little bit more symmetrical. And I also remember watching the cartoon series a little bit more than reading the books as a kid. So I put her in the traditional Madeline uniform, and I was going to color it purple, but then I was thinking about it, and I was just like, Miss Clavel would not allow that. So here's how the finished drawing turned out. The next character I decided to draw myself as was one from the Flintstones. I based this character off of Betty Rubble from the series, and I just kind of made her hair longer, and I gave her glasses, and obviously I made her dress and bow a different color. And so I just colored her hair brown, her bow, and her dress purple, and her like necklace thing, I guess that's a necklace, or maybe it's like attached to the dress, I'm not really sure, but um, that I colored black on the straps and then a lighter purple on the little stone thing. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from Gravity Falls. I based this character off of Mabel from the show, and I found a picture of her wearing a purple sweater that said Mabel on it with a rainbow, and so I decided to make myself wearing a purple sweater that said Megan on it, and then has a rainbow on it as well. I gave her some glasses, brown hair, and a purple sweater, and then a pink headband and skirt. I went over where it says Megan with a white gel pen, and then my drawing was finished. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a Care Bear. This one was really similar to the My Little Pony drawing that I did in another video. This art style has the characters outlined in the color that they are, so of course I outlined my Care Bear in purple. And then I colored her in purple as well. For her stomach, I drew on a paint palette, and I have her holding a paintbrush. The paint on the palette is colored in with Crayola markers, as well as the paint on the paintbrush. And here's how the finished drawing turned out. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a minion. And I'm pretty sure that there aren't any girl minions, they're actually all boys. I think I heard that somewhere, but I might be wrong. And minions are one of those things that I could probably draw with my eyes closed, because I was working at a movie theater when the Minions movie came out, and we were playing that for so long, and there were just minions everywhere. So, I got pretty familiar with the minions. Okay, so I just googled it and all the minions are boys, so maybe this girl minion is like Smurfette in the Smurfs where they're all boys except for her. We'll just go with that. So here's what I would look like as a minion. And the last character that I drew myself as on this page was as a character from Animal Crossing. And I just took a screenshot of my character that I have on my Animal Crossing Pocket Camp game and I pretty much just drew her. The only thing I really changed about her was that I changed the color of her jacket, and of course I had to make it purple. I played the original Animal Crossing like all the time when I was in third grade, it was like my favorite game. I played it on my Nintendo DS, and I played this when it first came out a bunch, but I haven't really played it for a while, I definitely should go back and play it. So here's what I would look like as an Animal Crossing character. So moving on to the next page, I decided to draw myself as a Tim Burton character. I really love Tim Burton's art style, I think that it's so unique, and I drew some of the curls on her hair going like off of her hair and being a little bit frizzy, because to be honest, my hair is kind of like that anyways, and it goes along with Tim Burton's art style. So I colored her skin gray because Tim Burton's art style has a very muted color palette, and to go along with that, I made her hair darker than I have with most of the other characters. So I used a darker brown to kind of go and like outline the curls, and then I went in with a little bit of a lighter brown. And here's how the finished drawing turned out. The next character that I decided to draw myself as is a character from South Park. And to be honest, I don't really watch this show that often. I only really watch it in like small clips on YouTube if like there's a celebrity or something on there. And here's how my finished South Park character turned out. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from Phineas and Ferb. I based this character's design off of Isabella from the series, 
Although, honestly, this show is such a lie. Like, it says that there are 104 days of summer vacation and there are not. Believe me, I remember I counted and there were like, I don't know, 80 something and I was very disappointed. Although, thinking about it, like, in college there might be 104 days of summer vacation because we get out in early May, but in, like, elementary and middle and high school, we always got out in, like, the middle of June. So anyways, here is my Phineas and Ferb character, and if you guys made it this far, comment down below what day you start summer vacation. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And I combined pretty much just like two girls from the series and then obviously had to give them glasses. And the footage of me coloring this like did not import correctly. So here's what it looked like when it was finished. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I really used to like this show and I based this character off of Frankie from the series. I recently learned that the creator of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends also created the Powerpuff Girls, which probably explains why I liked both shows. It also explains the Powerpuff Girls cameo in some of the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends episodes, like how they were on Frankie's shirt. And here's how the finished drawing turned out. I would definitely never wear a crop top in real life unless I was wearing like something high-waisted with it, but it's fun to do this because you can draw yourself wearing things that you wouldn't usually wear. And the last character that I drew myself as on this page was a character from the show Doug. I remember watching this show a little bit as a kid, mostly on like Nick at Night. I've only really watched the Nickelodeon version, not the Disney version, and I, but I heard that the Disney version wasn't that good anyways, so I don't think I'm really missing too much. This was one of those shows that like I would watch it if it was on, but like I wasn't really the biggest fan of it, like I would have rather watched something else but it was still an okay show. And here's what I would look like as a character from the show Doug. So moving on to the third and final page, the first character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from the show Strawberry Shortcake. And I drew myself as a character from the 2003 version because that is the version that I grew up with and I was seriously obsessed with this show slash brand when I was little. I had so many like dolls and books of it and it was seriously my favorite thing. I based this character off of Blueberry Muffin from the series. I don't think that any of the characters from Strawberry Shortcake had glasses, so I just kind of came up with my own design. And I didn't really come up with like a food for her to be themed after, I just colored her purple, because there aren't really any foods that I like strongly identify as, you know? But here's what I would look like as a Strawberry Shortcake character. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from Adventure Time. This one has been requested quite a few times, and to be honest, I've never really seen this show, which I know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be like, what? You've never seen that show? I know guys, I've just never seen it. But here's how the finished character turned out. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a Disney character. This character I based off of Ariel, except for I changed a few things about her, and I kind of think that I changed too many things so that, like, she doesn't really look like a Disney princess anymore, but it's okay, like, I tried. Um, I gave her some glasses, obviously, and then I made her hair brown, and I made, like, her hair closer to her head than Ariel's is, and I also made the lips and the nose and the eyes a little bit different, which I shouldn't have done that, but anyways, here she is. The next character that I decided to draw myself as was a Lego character. I based this character off of the Lego Librarian, which I just randomly found. I just searched for a Lego that had glasses, and here's how she turned out. I think that she turned out pretty cute. And next, I decided to draw myself as a Sailor Moon character. I'm not sure what it is about this character, but something just looks a little bit off to me. I think I made the eyes a little bit too big. But I think you guys can still kind of tell what I was going for. And I just put her in a traditional Sailor Scout uniform. And of course, I had to make the bow and the collar purple. I gave her glasses and brown hair like all of my other characters. And this is how she turned out. And the last character that I decided to draw myself as was a character from the show Bubble Guppies. And I've never seen this show, but I was looking at other people's style challenges. And I saw a girl did this show. And I just thought that it was a cute animation style, and I really wanted to draw a mermaid, so I just drew a character from Bubble Guppies. And here's how she turned out. And by the way, if you were wondering, yes, they only have three fingers, I checked. 
So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is at WellerMegs. And on my Instagram, you can get a closer look at all of these drawings that I did. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.